Today I'm back with another natural hair care video telling you guys what you should do before you start your natural hair care line. So if you're interested in this video, keep on watching. So the first thing you should do before you start your natural hair care line, if you're thinking about starting one, it would be really good if you could find yourself a mentor. Anyone that knows anything about running a business or having had a business in the past or maybe help others with their businesses, it would be really good to find a mentor, especially if they have experience within the beauty industry because they can help you get insights and in the ins and outs of what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what you should be looking for when you're starting your line. Um, all of these good things can come into play when you find yourself a mentor. So it would just be really great for you to start off with a mentor, someone like me, saying, nah. but just to start off with one, someone that's gonna be really down to earth with you and tell you all the things that you do need to know, but not really like take advantage or, you know, you just really need someone that's really gonna be down to earth with you and really be genuine with you and helping you on your journey instead of like, um, making you feel like you don't want anyone to make you feel like you didn't know anything or you're not going anywhere you want someone that's going to make you feel like you're set on the right path and you're knowing which direction you need to take so that's one thing that i would definitely suggest um when i started my hair care line i did not have any mentors i did not have anyone to help me and i really really wish now looking back that i did have one so this is just something to keep in mind it would help a lot if you have a mentor or someone that can help steer you in the right direction another thing that you want to do before you start you want to find who your target audience is going to be and then you want to look at the trends of your target audience you want to look at other products on the market that your target target audience do use and you want to see exactly where you will fit in with that you want to see exactly what you need to do to get your products onto that level or into that range so that your target audience are also looking at your products as well another thing that you need to do is research exactly what it is that you want to provide for your target audience or what products it is that you want to create this will help you have pretty much an outline of where your business is going to be headed where your product line is going to be headed and what direction you need to go in to ensure that you have those proper products you also want to make sure that you're researching these because you want to make sure that you're staying on top of the trends as i recently mentioned before this step is very important and very key and y'all know i talk about this all the time you want to test your products I don't care how long it takes, you need to test your product. And you don't want to put a product out there and have your consumers testing it and then it starts to irritate their scalps, it starts to give them rashes, it starts to break them out. You just don't want to have any issues or anything tying back to your brand, giving you a bad reputation. You really don't want to do that. So the best thing to do would be to take your time, have patience and test your products. There is no rush for this. The beauty industry is going to be there. People constantly want to look good. They hair, they want their hair to look good. So it's not a rush. You would rather have taken your time and put a quality product out than to rush it and put something out and then have all of this bad backlash on your brand. You really don't want that. So definitely take your time to test your products. And the last step, you want to try to figure out your pricing and figure out your marketing strategies and what you're going to do to gear people towards your business. And you also want to make sure that you have all of your legal affairs in order. So with pricing, there's a lot that goes into it, which I will be making another video on that really soon. But you do want to make sure that you're properly pricing your products and your marketing strategies, again, are really what's going to lure people to your business now again marketing strategies does not have to only be on social media so marketing strategies could be in person at events word of mouth whatever that it takes to get people to gravitate towards your brand that's what a marketing strategy could be for you so regardless to what you can find even if you need a marketing coach or someone to help you market and uh, grab your target audience in then do that don't shortchange your business and I say this wholeheartedly because for one having a business is an investment and if you're not ready to make that investment then honestly you're not ready to start your business Two, trying to come into the natural hair care industry it is not cheap i tell y'all all the time i spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars coming into this industry i did i i did and a lot of those thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars was gone like in terms of me making mistakes and i don't want you guys to make those same mistakes so if you're going to invest in your brand you cannot be cheap if you try to be cheap with it and just try to hurry up and throw 100 here or 200 here to get your brand going it's not really going to be quality i'll tell you that right now for one hair natural hair care ingredients they're not cheap it's not cheap at all trying to get facilities to test your products that's not going to be cheap at all trying to get your product created by a chemist or going to a um cosmetic lab or anything like that is not going to be cheap now if you're going to make it at home it's still not going to be cheap if you do it the right way but if you're going to just rush it and say well i'm gonna just mix this together and just throw it out there it'll probably be cheap but you're going to definitely be able to tell that it was cheaply done so you want to make sure that you are properly investing into your brand the right way so that 
you can properly price your products and get your return on investment but you also with your time and your investments you'll be able to see everything come to pass and you'll be able to see your marketing strategies work for you so with that being said that's all i wanted to say in this quick video i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i am gabby and i'll see you guys in my next video bye